Joining me now, Hereford manager Paul Caddis. That must be a really satisfactory victory for you, especially tonight. Honestly, I'm absolutely delighted. Delighted. I know, I think you mentioned that Keith when we played Jolly, that must have been the best result for us, but tonight was to have, listen, I've got to say, Tom Pugh come in. We signed him late yesterday. He come in today, doesn't, doesn't know anyone. His work ethic was ridiculous. Honestly, it was unbelievable. For him, it shows another one that we've brought into the squad. And I told him when you come in, you'll be part of our squad. We'll protect you. We'll look after you. And, and he's, he's uh, he was different class today. But listen, I've got to say, again, I keep saying it to a man. I thought of brilliant Pondy pull saves off when he has to the back four defending the box for large parts of the game. Listen, there's, I said to the lads, and there's different ways of skinning a cat. <laughs> there's no two ways about it. We weren't great tonight, but... I've just had a quick look at the a very quick look at the chances. We probably had better chances without being great in possession. We had the one off the post with a couple of flashed across the goal. But no, I'm really, really delighted. That's uh that's a big one. That's a big one. But as a side, what you have to do when you're faced with that is to match it. Determination, desire, application, all of the things that you're talking about in the summer, that suddenly seems to be falling into place. Yeah, and those are the words that we've got in our dressing room, hard work, character, desire. That's that's what will get us in this position. That's what, that's our bare minimum. That's our non-negotiables, as people speak about. I spoke to the lads before the game as well and said, personality was a big thing tonight. We we had 4,500 in the stadium on Saturday. It was bouncing from the get-go. And understandably, that's it's far less this evening. So it was down to the players to try and drive that momentum, drive that, that feel-good factor from the off. But I've got to say, the supporters, you wouldn't think it was 1,900. You thought it was, it was a couple more than, more than that. But... Uh, Delighted for everyone, delighted for everyone at the club, but the mentality we've now got in the dressing room is, it's done, tick it off, let's go again Saturday. Must be encouraging for you that the crowd are reacting to that attitude, that desire and determination, as I say. Listen, it's like anything, like if, if you go to the supermarket and you go and buy something for a fiver, you want it to be worth a fiver. It's like they, they come here and they spend their money, they want it to be worth, and they want to see players that are given absolute everything for them. I make no... Promises we will not win every single game at home. I would love to. There will be games where we were we are rubbish or there will be games where we are brilliant, but there will never once be a game where we don't give that hard work, that character, that desire, and, and that's something the players have got in abundance, and I'm delighted with them. You seem to have got the reward tonight for the game plan, which was to at least match Brackley toe-to-toe, every position, and if you lose the ball, get back. Yeah, we do. I say, listen, again, we don't lose... I don't think we've lost any goal this season where we've been played through. Our shape's brilliant. That's credit to the, the hard work of the players. Uh, we went the 4-4-2. To be honest, we we gave Babs right up until the last minute to to try and get involved, but he's still he's got a little spasm in his hamstring, so uh, we decided to leave that and, and we decided to put kills in. Yeah, first start for Jason Carney for a couple of months. How do you feel he's getting back into it? Yeah, I said to you the other day, obviously we, we thought, We'd preferred if we had more training opportunities, which we don't. So I spoke to Kills probably about five o'clock and just said, how are you feeling? He said, I'm at this stage, I want to just play games. I want to get on the pitch. I can give you 60, 70 minutes. He gets to 60 minutes. He tells me before the game, I can give you 60 minutes. I take him off at 60 minutes and starts complaining. That's him. <laughs> I'm like, what are you complaining at? He said, I want to stay on, but I'm trying to protect him. I'm trying to protect us as a club, but you see he's... He'll, he'll get there with his, with his sharpness. He didn't really have any opportunities in front of goal tonight, but we're just delighted, absolutely delighted to have him back. Given the start of the season, you're now level on points with those teams in the playoff positions. Mm. Did you think that was going to come so quickly? I forecast it would be probably be December when you got most of your squad back. Yeah, listen, that's, it's brilliant that we're there, but nothing's been done yet. If if you come back to me at the end of April, Keith, and tell me we're, we're up there, then, then I'll be delighted. But again, we've got... I'm trying to switch that mentality of the football club. That's what we've done there is brilliant. But as of tomorrow, it's gone. Let's go and up to Boston and get a positive result. Let's go again Tuesday night against Bambury. That's the mentality we've got to have here. That's a winning mentality. And that's what I'm trying to instill at the club. I don't know if I'm talking out of turn, but I saw Paul Downing before kick-off tonight. And he said he's back training. And he reckons he could be available at the weekend at Boston. Yeah, he's going to do some max... Speed stuff, obviously with hamstring, you always have to try and come through those tests. If it comes through that, then we'll, we'll make the decision if he's available or not. But 
we would love to get everybody back. We'd love to get Jordan Lyon back. We'd love to get Paul Downing back. We've obviously got Derek Hutch not far off now, probably three, four weeks away. Uh, Barbos back. We just want to get as many fit players as we possibly can because we know, especially November, is a tough month. We've got another five games left now, I think. Uh, you know, six games with the eight in total in November. So the more bodies we can get back, then, then the, the, the better. And Tom Hugh was saying Boston, obviously good facility. He was there the other week with Scott Thorpe. Uh, good ground to play on, good pitch to play on. So, again, that must give you some encouragement. Yeah, a team that's, I think, they're hybrid, isn't they? I think they train three three long days in, in the week or something like that. So, they they got a lot of time together on the pitch, but, listen, that's never put us off before. So, we'll go up there and set up to try and win the game. Thanks for your time. Thank you.